Hi Thumos and welcome back. So look, you know, I, I sometimes think about who I'm talking to when I'm making these messages. And I know there's a lot of young guys. I know there's a lot of guys that are in their teens, maybe early 20s, maybe 30 and older. Um, but, you know, I think about what I could tell my older self and what I've learned now. Of course, my path is different than yours. Um, everyone has their own opinions, but here's mine. I think it's really important to, to find your path. To find the path. To find a path. That way you can begin to walk that path. To have sort of a mission. Uh, a focus. You find your path. You begin to walk that narrow path. Um, I, I do believe that this comes about by thinking what is worthy of my energy and time. Not not as not not what's worthy. I'm saying something like what can I give my time and energy to that seems appropriate, that seems fulfilling, seems meaningful, provide meaning for my life. I think too many times, especially young guys, these days they think that clout or fame is the thing that they seek, maybe riches, right? And they think that clout, fame, and riches is the way to a meaningful life. Sure, having some money is is a great thing. Um, I don't believe that fame and clout is what you need. You need a path to walk. You need something greater than that. That's not fulfilling. And I think that's a very, very fundamental question you got to ask yourself is, what can I do with my time and my energy, my intellect, my strength, my gifts? What can I do with these things that's going to impact the world, maybe even your environment, and the people? What is going to make someone else's life better? What can I do? Not, will everyone look at me for my gifts and my talents? But what can I provide? And sometimes that's as simple as entertainment. Sometimes that's as simple as making someone laugh. That's what comedians do. They make someone laugh. Maybe they give someone stuff to think about that they don't normally think about. Maybe that's as simple as you learning how to brew your own beer, right? People, people that brew beer, they, they have maybe their own brewery. They do pretty damn well because people love beer. And people like entertainment, and people like food, and people like safety and being secure. People like a lot of different things. And the people that make those things, even though you may not respect it, even though that may not be something you like, that makes people's lives better. And so the way that you become important, I truly believe, is not by trying to get a bunch of attention. To be important, you have to help other people. You have to be important to other people. That's how you become important. Not by getting quick attention, not by shaking your booty on Instagram. Um, I think to be important, you have to provide something for other people. And I think that when you're just starting out, maybe you need to consider these questions. Like, what do, what do I like to do? What are maybe my hobbies, my gifts, my talents, like I said, and how can I make other people's lives a bit better? Um, I would really start there. You want to find a path. When you find a path that you can walk on, that is yours, this will, this will uh, give you a sense of, uh, what's a good word? Like, there, there's mastery on the path. The path is narrow, right? You're in, imagine yourself, you're walking down the path. And there's obstacles. Sometimes there's monsters that pop up. There's things along the path. But you have a path. You're like out of the ocean, dude. You're out of the vast ocean with, you know, you're swimming in the ocean. There's no direction. You find a log, you're just drifting, man. The log being... The newest self-improvement that comes out, you know, the newest trend, 
the newest clothes, the newest car. You know, you're just latching onto any log that you can float around in the ocean. But when you find a path, you sort of exit that water. You begin to walk on the path. You're go you're on the island. You know, there's a there's a path there. You see it. It's leading up to the top. There's a lot of you know a lot of uh, shrubs in the way. You got to take out your machete and just start chopping them down. But you're going. You get thirsty. You know, you're trying to keep yourself, you've been swimming in the ocean so long, you're damn dehydrated. You're a mess. There's crabs trying to nip at your legs. You know, there's wild animals. You see a wild, you see a wild coyote, a wild giraffe on the island. I mean, you're, it's, it's unknown, uncharted territory, but at least you found the path. And you may get off a little bit. You may stumble, but at least you found the path. At least you can keep walking on the path. You're out of the ocean. You can see the top of the hill where you need to get to, to make your home, to find, you know, that destiny, to fulfill the destiny, call it whatever you want. All right. But you have a path that you can walk, dude. And that's, man, the top of the mountain. What's, what, what else are you going to aim at? So, uh, you know, that mastery, your work, the work that you do, that's what it is. It comes down to the path is the work. You know, you put time and energy into something. That's what it is. It's the work. And the work that you do begins to fulfill you. And even when you don't see exactly what you need to do, at least you got something. You can see the top of the mountain. You don't always see how to get there, but you keep walking, you know. At least you can see you're getting a little bit closer. Just a little bit. But most people, man, again, back to the analogy of the ocean, they don't have it. They're drifting in the ocean aimless men and women and and your path can be whatever you want dude it really can and i think actually it might change throughout your life i think mine has changed throughout my life there was times i i wanted to be like a professional bodybuilder there was times i wanted to be a professional skateboarder when i was younger i wanted to be a professional paintball player at one time i literally would buy the magazines and uh, I was on a team. We got the we got sponsored. We played in a tournament. Absolutely got in last place. Absolute trash. Um, your your purpose changes. The path changes. There's, sometimes there's a there's a split in the road, and you see something that maybe this looks like a bit of a better path to take. A little bit more rewarding for me. You start to walk that path, and in that it anchors you. Because now you don't got to worry about every little thing going on in the world. You're walking your path, slow and steady. You're staying on, staying on constant north. You're not pulled apart. And there's joy. There's joy in discovering what lies ahead. There's joy in overcoming, overcoming those obstacles. And, uh, you know, for me, it's changed. And, and uh, one of the big things that it changes was like, I can uh, be of use uh, and I think that we all have the power and you should ask yourself that question how can I be of use again back to that I, f I felt like I could be of use my goal has been to the unite the men to unite the men to pro provide structure to provide support for the man that maybe feels lonely or lost because I was once lost and uh, I see the power of brothers and friendship, camaraderie. I see the power of movement and health and fitness. I see the the uh, I see just the the fellowship that and, and sort of the clarity that people uniting and helping each other out can bring to the individual. And I see also that the world doesn't really foster that kind of thing. It doesn't really care to bring us men together so i see something in there that maybe i could be useful and when i was younger i didn't question those things so i my focus when i was younger was to become strong to become better at talking to people to get rid of my fears of being social and and you know talking to older wiser men and women and to get over my fear of talking to girls and um getting on camera, insert, you know, things like this, selling, like, these are all things that I was uncomfortable with, but I had to step up to that. It was all part of the path. And, uh, you know, you're, you're young, 
you're lost. But I want you to know you got a lot of power. You do got a lot of power. So instead of wasting your days drifting in the ocean, maybe take out a one of these bad boys. You know, I have tons of these throughout the years. You're just gonna write. You know, you just write. What is my path? Maybe you start there. What is my path? And then you start to maybe list out your strengths, maybe your weaknesses, and you go into something that you can develop your strengths that can call forth your strengths and you develop skills in that, right? You develop skills and you don't need purpose and passion. That's not, that's different than the path. The, the purpose and passion is, is like the treasure chest that you discover along the way. It's the feeling that you get. You get stronger. You get purposeful. You get purpose driven. That's like the treasure chest that's off on the side. You don't need that to start. You just need to find a path to start walking. You develop those skills and you become useful. And then you you start to you start to find a bunch of uh, resources. You know you get rewarded for that when you make other people's lives better. You get rewarded for that in the form of money which is energy, which you can put to use to make more of it, to increase your reach, to, to go further, to go farther, to become better. That's all part of the process. But in the very beginning, man, I know it's freaking tough. It is freaking tough. But you have to realize, until you step out of the freaking ocean, you're just drifting along, you have to get on the island, dude. Pirate's life, all right? Pirate's life. We shipwrecked, swim to the island, find the path, and keep walking, all right? And you'll meet brothers along the way. And you'll find, you'll find, man, you'll find there's other guys, and you'll find joy in the process, and I just want you to know, God, I wish I could have this talk with my younger self, dude. Like, it's going to be just fine. Just show up. Do what's in front of you. Stop stressing. Stop stressing. But focus on the path. Really, focus on the path. Don't, don't like get too far off getting curious about too much other things. You don't got to be perfect. Perfectionism, that's procrastination. You, this, you don't need to be perfect. But don't get too interested in this and that. You know, you can peek around the corner, see what's going on in other paths. But, you know, once you find something, you see the light, keep going. Keep going. And, uh, you know, I really I really just want to drive this point home. You're a young buck. You're a young warrior. Young guy. It, it doesn't always make sense. It's not always fun. But you're going to make it. You're going to make it if you keep showing up. I think that we need to, uh, we need to uncover some of the lies that are going on especially these days a lot of young guys they say they want to they're going to be an entrepreneur like entrepreneur just means you don't have a job um for a lot of these guys you're just going to be jobless and there's nothing wrong with a job a lot of guys say they want to be an entrepreneur a lot of guys like for some reason i don't know who's telling everyone this everyone wants to trade all of a sudden like be a day trader like you really want to be a day trader clicking buttons all day sitting in front of a screen that's your calling in life to trade when guys with PhDs talked about this with some of the guys in our group, guys with PhDs are literally doing this for, you know, they they're trained. They're you're not gonna beat them. They're not gonna beat these guys. You might get lucky, you might get a few wins, but how much money are you gonna make? Is this really your purpose? A lot too many young guys are obsessed with this idea of getting a shit ton of money and then just checking out. Like, what are you gonna do? with your time on earth like oh dude it's you gotta you gotta think about this man what are you gonna do with your time here on earth and and then think about it you know just there it is think about it do whatever you want but at least think about it a bit um i can tell you that the days are going to be dark sometimes but the work and your path will pull you out. It'll pull you forward. Because you're like, yeah, maybe I'm having a bit of a bad day. Maybe things aren't always 
doing I'm not doing that uh, well mentally, but uh, you know, it's gonna be all right. I can see the path. I can see what I gotta do. It's way better than being in the middle of the ocean where there's freaking sharks and um, there's like you just look at the horizon and there's nothing. So you just jerk off and then you just try to mindlessly self-improve for what? You just try to build a bunch of, uh, try to be disciplined in the middle midst of the ocean, right? It's like, okay, man, but um, you're getting hungry and you're getting older and you're drifting further and further out and it's going to be harder to pull yourself back in. Start swimming to shore. Start swimming to shore now. Discover the, the shore. Discover the island. Find the path. That's all you got to do, man. And it will illuminate itself. That's one thing you have to understand. You don't have to have everything figured out. And a great way is to have other people sort of... There's other people that have walked the path. They've walked the path. They've done it. Maybe not exactly as you've done it, but there's other people that can push you to that. So do you want those kind of people in your life? Do you want older, wiser people in their life, in your life, kind of getting you back, right? Leading you a bit, putting the compass back. Um, that's up to you. Do you, you know, re remember though that it will illuminate as you keep going, as you keep going, but don't stagnate. Refuse to not use any of the gifts that God has given you. Refuse to live a life. I'm not saying grind 24 seven. I'm not, you know, this, I don't want to have a weird motivational talk with you. Like be the best that you can be. I'm not saying that, but like refuse to go unaware of your strengths because you do have strengths. You have something that is different than me. You have something different than a lot of other people. You have a unique outlook, perspective on life. You have something that you can do. You have the energy to make other people's lives a bit better in many different ways. You just got to find it. Maybe you have to develop a skill or maybe find a medium in order to do that thing. Right? You got, that's, a, that's a, maybe a nuanced point, but you got to find the medium. Like the only way that I can do this is I found a medium to do so. I can talk to you by using a camera, uploading it to a platform, right? It's a medium. That's, that's my medium that I found to connect with the person that needs to hear my message. Um, you, you, you need to find the medium. You need to find the right people. You need to find maybe the right skill that you have to learn to connect you, right, to, to those people that need your help. Uh, or to maybe just, you know, you maybe you, you got this awesome idea for beer. Yeah, back to the beer or the people that bottle your whiskey or roll your cigar, you know. Maybe you got the best freaking beer recipe, but it's just missing that one thing. Maybe it's missing the, 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 the knowledge of, like, how to brew it. I don't know, whatever, you know. But, like, that's it. The path will illuminate itself. So don't get stressed. Don't get weighed down. Keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself in shape, right? Um, but walk the path. Find your path. Find the mission. Don't just go aimlessly about your life. Become aware. That's all I ask you guys. Just take a moment before you go to the next video. To sh you know whatever thing you're gonna do next after this. I hope you have a blessed day. But take a moment at least to become aware of what you have been given. Your story, your story so far in this life, where life has brought you, your interests, your desires, maybe your passions, your hobbies, your skills, you know, what lay it out on the table and take a look at it. Take a look at it, thank God for it. But at least be aware of it. Don't just keep going. You know, don't just keep getting pulled away. The tide is lifting. You're going further out. Don't just keep going. Take a step. Step on the island, man. Take a breath. And you'll find your path. You'll find your path. That's it, man. Any questions for me, um, ask me down below. Ask our High Thumos Brotherhood. If you're in there, you can talk to me directly. I'd love to talk to you guys. 
Hope to see many more of you in the voice chats. And I hope that you have a blessed day. Keep it high, Dumos. Peace.